In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a hosting a domain to Odoo. Now this is very easy, and if you watch this whole video, you'll have your domain connected in no time, and hopefully all of your problems and issues will be solved. So you wanna go ahead and obviously go to Odoo. Once you're logged in, go to your profile icon in the top right hand corner, then go to my databases, and here you'll see your website here. Now go ahead and click on the settings cog, then go to domain names. And from here, you can go ahead and use your own domain because we've got our domain registered on Hostinger. So I click use my own domain. Then we need to go to Hostinger and we need to log in. Now, once you're logged into Hostinger, it will look something like this. It may have changed a little bit, but you need to go ahead and find domains, then go to your domain portfolio. Now, inside your portfolio, you need to go ahead and find the domain you want to connect. So I'm going to use this one, Knowledge Base Hub. Dot com. We can click manage and once we're in here, we can go ahead and go to DNS slash name servers. You then need to scroll down and find the part of the website where you can manage your DNS records and add new records. Now we need to go to type. We need to change it to CNAME because if we go ahead and look on Odoo, we need to just create one CNAME record. Now let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't want to confuse you too much before we go ahead and add a CNAME record we need to go ahead and paste in the domain into this field here. So before you go to manage DNS, just scroll up and you probably want to copy your domain. So I'm just going to copy it here and we can type in here www.yourdomain.com or yourdomain.net. And then once it's in this field, you can then go ahead and add the CNAME record. So again, on Hostinger on the back end, go to DNS slash name servers then scroll down and go to manage DNS records. Now we need to go to type again and then CNAME and then for name, you wanna change this from at to www. Now it may say that it's conflicting with another record. So what we can do is we can scroll down and then we're gonna look for the CNAME www record, which we can go ahead and delete. Obviously you can't have two records, right? That are conflicting. So now it's not gonna be conflicting. Now we just need to paste in the target so for that, it's going to tell you exactly what to paste here. So you need to create a CNAME record with your domain pointing to, and then for me, it's knowledgebase-test.odoo.com, but yours will say obviously your database, and it will tell you exactly what to copy here. So just highlight it all and then copy it. Then go to Hostinger, and then go to Target and paste that in. So now it should recognize that the other DNS is gone. So there we go. Now with all of these, entered in, we can go ahead and click add record. Again, this is how easy it is, right? I hope you're following along. We've now created this DNS record. Now let's go back to Odoo and we'll click verify. Now it might take a couple of minutes to verify that you've connected your domain. So just be patient. Mine has gone through straight away. It's configured it, it seems good. We can then click, I confirm that it's done. Now, if you wanted to read this, it's basically telling you that the SSL certificate will be generated automatically so if we click here i confirm it's done it's going to say congratulations your website is being set up now you could highlight your url here and you could go to your url and it might work straight away like mine works straight away you might have some issues and you might run into an issue where the ssl certificate is not secure if that happens you just have to be patient and wait it can take up to five hours I don't know why it just takes a couple of hours for the SSL certificate to be generated. So don't panic if you get this error message. Um, it is gonna set it up, just give it time. If you do wanna double check everything's done correctly, you can go to a website called dnschecker.org. So our domain name is knowledgebasehub.com. If you paste that domain name in and click search, if everything is green here, it means you've done everything correct. And within around five hours, Everything should be working. So that's how you do it. I hope that helps you out.